So the question here is that how are we going to plot the first point 5 comma 4? We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is now the first coordinate ordered pair which is 5 comma 4. Hi guys, it's me Teacher Goyen. In our today's video, we will try to discuss how to plot the points on a Cartesian plane. And in the second part of this video, we will try to identify the coordinates of a given point on a Cartesian plane. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here right now are five different points or ordered pairs to be plotted here in a given Cartesian plane. Now let me tell you that this are examples of ordered pairs. So the numbers 5, negative 5, negative 1, 0, negative 3 are representing the x coordinates. Now the 4, 4, negative 1, 5, 0 are representing the y coordinates. Now the question here is that how are we going to plot the first point 5, comma 4? Okay? First step is to start in the center or in your origin. And then after that, as you can see, you will try to consider first the y coordinate. From here, from here, we will consider the x coordinate, which is 5. Since this one is the x coordinate, we will rely on the x-axis and this is your y-axis by the way now again first step you will go with the center or the origin which is 0 comma 0 and then since this one is the x-coordinate we will go through the x-axis from here where is the value of 5 it is located here on the right side of the x-axis and we have here 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have counted 5 units from the origin here. Here's the origin. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's stop here. So this is the tentative point for the x coordinate. Now we have the y coordinate which is equal to 4. So what are we going to do with 4? For 4, from here, we will move 4 units because 4 is located here at the upper part of the y-axis. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is now the first coordinate ordered pair, which is 5, comma, 4. Let me repeat the process. You will start here. We will start here at the origin since the value of your x Coordinate is 5. Move tayo ng 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the, to the right since that is positive. And since your y coordinate is positive, we will move 4 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you can see, this part is equivalent to 5 units. This part is equivalent to 4 units. So we are done with number 1. Now let's go with item number 2. We have negative 5 and 4. Before we start, I think for number 2, we need to predict first what is the quadrant of this, of this given ordered pair. Since this one is negative and this is positive, this one is located at exactly quadrant number 2. So we will expect that that point must be plotted here. So let's see. The value of your x coordinate is 5, a negative 5. So again, to start with, you will start with the origin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We moved 5 units to the left because the value of the x coordinate is negative. So let's stop here. Now, your y coordinate is 4, 4 positive. So we will move up from here 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you can see, Here's the location or exact location of the ordered pair negative 5, 4. And as I have told you earlier, 
This point is located at quadrant number 2. Now let's move on with number 3. This one is negative 1, comma negative 1. So since the two, order, the two coordinates are both negative, that is located at the third quadrant here. So how are we going to plot that? From here, 1. Since that is negative, we will move to the right. Now as for the y value, that is value negative. From here, move tayo pa baba. And this is the location of your third ordered pair. Negative 1, comma, negative 1. Next, what about 0, comma, 5? Here, guys, your x is 0, your y is 5. So how are we going to plot that? So we will start at the origin. And as you have noticed, the value of x is 0. So we will, we will not move to the left or to the right because your x is 0. We will stay here. And next, your 5, your y is 5. So we will move up 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's the location of the fourth ordered pair. And as you can see, Shai is some uh, point that is located in the y-axis. Now let's have the fifth ordered pair, which is negative 3 and 0. And as you can see, the value of your x-coordinate here is negative 3, while your y is equal to 0. So what we're going to do here, guys, is that we will start at the origin, and since the value of your x-coordinate is negative 3, we will go through x-axis, but from here, we will move 3 units to the left because the value of x is negative. We have 1, 2, and 3, and we will stop here. Now, let's consider the value of your y-coordinate, which is 0. Since that is 0, we won't move here. Okay? So, this is now the exact location of our fifth ordered pair, which is negative 3, comma, 0. So, we are done with plotting of points. Now, let's proceed with finding the coordinates of a given point or identifying what are the coordinates of the given points A, B, C, D, E, and F? Let's start first with point A. For point A, to identify the coordinates of point A, remember huh? when you say coordinates, that is represented by X, Y. Meaning, we will start first identifying the value of your x and the value of y next. So for the point A, this is point A, huh? we will go through with x-axis, that is with negative 3. So we will put here negative 3 for x. What about for y? Look, this one is here. So we have the coordinates of negative 3, 4. So as you can see, this is the ordered pair representing point A. Now, what about point B? For point B, your x is 2, and your y is 1, 2, 3 units, 3. Let's go with point C. For point C, for the, for the x-axis, your point C is negative 5 for the x-coordinate. For y coordinate, that is negative 4. For letter D, for the x axis or for the x coordinate, as you can see, this one is here, katapatin yung sa origin natin or 0. We have here 0 for the x coordinate. And as for the y coordinate, it is located at negative 4. And let's have letter E or point E. As you can see, for the x values, your x coordinate is 4, while the value of y, as you can see for the y axis, this is 0. And as you can see, the coordinates of point E is simply 4, 0. Now, guys, comment down below what are the coordinates of point F. Okay? So I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to 
plot points on a Cartesian plane and how to find the coordinates of point on a Cartesian plane. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!